see you, whether it be in person, speak to you on the phone, or zooming together before Yom Tov. This Yom Tov is going to be different. We're not going to have our normal Yom Tov from a bridge service, but this gives us an opportunity. There's many aspects of Yom Tov. One of the aspects we normally focus on is the aspect of Tefillah, coming together in order to daven. But this year we've got an opportunity to explore the myriads of opportunity that Rosh Hashanah gives to us. The meals, our family, Simanim, Tashlich, doubling by oneself with real Kavona. Let's not look at this year as a different year. Let's look at this year as embracing a new opportunity, coming together, doubling together, connecting together. so exciting to be back on our beautiful campus for Yom Tra, the day of the sounding of the shofar that's coming up in a few days. But Yom Tra doesn't only mean the day of sounding shofar. Our sages tell us that the word Tra comes from the Shoresh, from the root Reut, friendship, love, and warmth. And yes, this is our opportunity to come together as a community, whether we're at home or whether we're here on campus. We can come together, we can daven together, we can be together in our families, we can learn more, we can engage more, we can really be that beautiful community that we are, even if we're doubling at home. And really the purpose of this presentation is to take people through what it's going to be like on campus, as well as to present some basic ideas about what it's going to be if you have to be at home for doubling. We look so forward to that journey. Please come with us. Regarding the protocols that we have in place, we have met with Dr. Professor Kramer, who has gone through every single location that we've been at here and has given us a document that we've had to apply by and uh, go through to make sure that we are safe and compliant for Minyanim over Yonta. Just to go through a few of the guidelines that are important. The first, most important rule is wearing a mask. You have to wear a mask the whole time throughout the service. You can't not, it has to cover your mouth and your nose. The whole time. You can't have your mask sitting over here or sitting up here as a keeper like we've seen in other countries. It has to be on you the whole time covering your mouth and your nose. That's point number one. Point number two is the social distancing. It is very, very important that we maintain social distancing between the people. You stay by your seats. Uh, you don't move in between the minyanim. Start chatting to people in between the minyanim. Very important. Those are the two major rules. Just to also make note that a buff is not good enough as a mask. Please just wear a mask that has double layers. Straight after we finish the service, please go straight through the same gate. Don't congregate here in the shul. Okay, regarding the bathrooms, every minion has to have their own separate bathrooms. So just to run through them quickly. For the minion here in the piazza, we're going to use the bathrooms up here by the big shul, the men and the women's bathroom and they're really marked and allocated of which ones you can use or not. Regarding the sukkah minyan, you will use the whole bathrooms over there, both for men and for women. The woman will go through the Beit Abraham into the bathrooms and the men will go through that little alleyway into the bathrooms. Regarding the third minyan, but the girls high school, the woman will use the bathrooms within the cafeteria area there and the men will use the girls high school bathrooms or just on the corridor on the side over there. While we are restricted with time, we Baruch Hashem have been able to ensure that we'll be able to daven the Shachris, Laning, Tkirsa Shofar, and Musaf, all within the allotted two hours. Every minion will be starting at the same point, and that is at Nishmat with the Chazan singing. What is important is that everybody should daven Sukkot de Zimra up to the end of Yishtabach, and then come into Shul, sit down, wait for the chazan to begin, answer Amen to Yishtabach, and then continue with Baruch Hu there onwards. Unfortunately, we cannot sing like we are accustomed to, even though the chazan is going to be singing, one is allowed to daven and sing in a very soft undertone. One mustn't walk up to the Sefer Torah to give it a kiss or to touch it. When a person receives an aliyah, they should stand up in the seat take one step forward so they can see the Sefer Torah. They then recite the before brachot, let the lane alane, post that, they should say the concluding blessing, go straight back to the seat and sit down. 
Okay, for those of us who are going to be davening in the sukkah area, you'll come through this main gate, you then walk this way, making sure you stay within this environment, all the way down to the sukkah through there. At this point, there'll be a check-in table where you'll get your passenger taken. 36.6, not bad. Then we'll be sanitizing our hands here as well. And then moving on all the way down to the super house. The walk must be through this way. Going down the, te the stairs next to the tennis court all the way through into the sukkah. There will be lists of names on these walls for everybody to know exactly where they're going to be sitting. And they'll come through, sanitize hands before we sit down. And the names will go this way. And the men will come this way. Specifically put socially distant. You can come, there's a seat over here, one for you and one for uh, your belongings, your sitter. As we know, please, one of the things that is so important for us to remember is that the seats are allocated to ensure social distancing. Please don't move the seats. Please stay in your seats. Let's have a safe, beautiful, inspiring yoga together. We're so excited to have you back. For the Piazza Minion, you're going to head to these doors. You'll make your way down to the COVID officer following the demarcated signs. Following that, you'll be able to sanitize your hands. Carry on down to the minion. A list of chairs, names, and positions will be reflecting on the board. Make your way down. You've got a chair next to you for your belongings, for your machsor, for your talus. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Let's re-energize. Let's reinvigorate. Looking forward to seeing you. Make your way into the beautiful area that will be davening. Like the other venues, all the seats are going to be demarcated with one's names. Once again, please do not move your seats. The doors of the girls' center will be open, allowing for more space and more seats. Please find your name that is going to be on a list just before entering this area. Come straight to your seat. There'll be two seats, one for you, one for your belongings. Come and dive in with passion. So we're having two chauffeur blowings, one at 12.15 and one at 12.45. Um, you'll be coming through this gate for, for both of them. Coming through here, all the way down, up to the COVID office show over here. And we'll take your temperature. Thank you. And then there'll be a sanitizing station, sanitized hands, and then together, all walk down to the parking lot where the chauffeur will be blown. You'll walk down the steps all the way down into the parking lot. And as you can see in the parking lot, there are demarcated places. Everybody should stand in their own place. If you're with your kids, you can stand together in that place with your kids to hear the chauffeur which will be blown from up here. Distance will just disappear And the children will smile No, no, put you on the video, son. Excuse me. Let's bring in a healthy room Let's have you back. For the piazza, have you back. We will see what a world there can be We will see what a world there can be For Yontif, so a mask that has double layers Um... Number two, please, when you leave, or number three, when you're leaving the camp, oh, I'll straight over there. <laughs>